Frank everyone and welcome back to Random Rest. So now in this video we are going to be doing something that is incredibly useful for everyone as everyone has got storage at some place in their house. And this one is actually safe storage. So we've got we've got ourselves a redstone safe here and we have ourselves some secret storage over here. So there's two types of redstone and we'll go with this one first. Both of them are very secret so put that there so we can actually get up on it. So what we have to do, just to get on, is there's a hidden wooden button on the floor. Press it, and there you go. Your chests are there, and you can do what you want with them, and then close it again by pressing the same mechanism. Incredibly easy to do. Incredibly easy. This one is pretty much the more awkward one out of the two. And so make sure it's reset first. Okay, so I know it's now been reset because that's the reset button. And the code for this, well, it's, it's number 16, and you can put more, but the redstone for it has been a lot more complicated. So, so we're going to go for the code, which is, oh, it's raining, okay, slash weather, clear, okay, right, okay, so the code is 2, 3, 4, Six. And there go, there go, it's let us in now, which is useful. Awesome. So, redstone for this is, well, complicated a bit. <laughs> in fact, it's actually multiple, multiple different systems. You have the resetting system, which is here, which pretty much has normal pistons pushing all the blocks back. And we have here, we have bricks, and we have a redstone block. Pretty much it pushes it down and then pushes it back when need be. So here we pretty much have the same here when it comes to that, except where it's like different. And here we have it going like this. So I'm pretty much just going to hover around so you can see all this redstone and everything. It's quite weird redstone, so I'll just fly around so you can see it all. And pretty much the whole thing is actually just based around pistons. It's based around how pistons are set up and things like that, really. So yeah. Okay. So, pretty much with this, we have, once that is, system has pretty much gone through all of that, you have here, which is pretty much a pulse amplifier. So, if the if it blips off for like a quarter of a second or anything like that, this stops the doors from opening for, that, for any amount of time. In order for the doors to open with this circuit, they have to be open for three quarters of a second. Is it three quarters of a second? Uh, yeah, three quarters of a second it has to be open for. Um, that pulse has to be actually opening, telling the doors to open. So if it's not any longer than that, then the doors will not open. So that runs this redstone pretty much. So I'm just going to look around again so you can actually take all the redstone for it. So it is quite a complicated build, so unless you want to have a redstone safe, then this isn't really the right thing for you. So there you go. That's, that's pretty much the redstone for this. There's a lovely bit of redstone. There you go. And the next one is the pretty much the hidden storage. Now for this one, it, the redstone is incredibly simple, it goes along to here, along here, to a T flip flop, I will have a link in the description below to a video about T flip flops, so you can choose any T flip flop you want. Then until the T flip flop comes out and it goes to the pistons on the bottom and the top, which are sticky pistons, which then push up the, the bookcases, like that, wait, like this, so in order for you to be able to do it. So there we go, there we go, simple as. So yeah, it's incredibly simple to do. So yeah, I hope this has been very useful for you being able to hide away all of your precious items, like your diamonds, your iron, your gold, your obsidian, or anything even slightly precious, pretty much to you. You can hide it using one of these. So I hope this has been useful, and until next time, bye!